Hey, this is Noel with creationeffects.com and in this quick After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a custom swarm of insects that are flying around a light at night. And you don't need any stock footage for this. It can all be done inside of After Effects, which means you can customize it however you want to uh, work with your specific footage. I'm gonna be using the Swarms template from Creation Effects, uh, which is a very affordable template that lets you choose between 18 different species of flying insects and create custom swarms that have very realistic flying behavior and you have total control over where they fly and it's all 3D and very easy to use. And let's begin. Uh, this is the background footage that I'm going to be using. It's actually just a still image that I got for free from pixabay.com. And uh, let's put some bugs over this light. I think we can use uh, a couple different species maybe. You can see in our project panel, we've got all the different species here. Everything from butterflies and bees to mosquitoes or rhinoceros beetle. Um, I think we're, we want a moth and maybe something small, so we'll use a fly. Um, of all these butterflies, this dusky wing looks the most like a moth. So I'll open that up and you can see we've got a 2D option and a 3D option. Um, let's use a 3D. It looks better, um, just runs a little slower. So if I open that up and then play it back, you can see we've got just five butterflies flying across the screen. And if I scroll down, uh, you can see this first butterfly here, these four layers, is the leader butterfly. Wherever you tell that leader to go, these other butterflies are going to follow. Um, and you can see it's this first layer here with the position keyframes. Um, and if I select it, you can see the motion path that I created. Just a simple path, two keyframes going across the frame. All the other movement and flight behavior is all automatic and uh, random. And you can actually customize it using this control layer. In the effect controls panel, you've got a ton of different controls which you can use to customize their flight behavior. For the most part, the default settings are going to work perfectly for us. So um, we won't be doing that much up here. Let's just get rid of that horizontal flight across the frame. I'm just going to select that first layer and hit the U key to reveal the keyframes and uh, delete those keyframes. And I'm just going to put that leader butterfly right in the middle of our frame. So I'll type in in the position property 960 by 540. And let's just play that back and see what it looks like. So without that horizontal movement, uh, you can see they're going pretty slow. So what we can do is just make a few quick adjustments. If I select the control layer and open up Wiggle 1, there's lots of different types of wiggle which define their flight behavior. These two right here, the main individual movements and the minor individual movements um, are the ones we're going to focus on. And let's just... Uh, Let's double the amount that they fly in pixels. So there's a horizontal wiggle amount, vertical, and depth. Three different dimensions. We'll just do twice as much for each of those. And also uh, minor individual movements. So these are the big movements that they're going to be making. And then in addition to those main movements, they're also going to be making smaller movements. Um, so that's this control here. We can double that as well. And this is still going to be kind of slow. So what we can do in butterfly appearance, we'll just scale them down to something like 8%. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's good, except uh, you might have noticed that some of them are flying outside the frame. Uh, we can hit Command K or Control K to bring up the composition settings and we'll just make this comp 4K. That's the quick solution. And I'll zoom out a little bit. And uh, our sky or our background layer down here, we can scale it up if we want. Okay, let's play that back. All right, I think that should work for us. Uh, you might notice that this little butterfly here is not moving much. He's just kind of hanging out here in the middle. And that's just the way that this uh, effect is set up. That's the leader butterfly, and we can actually just hide him. We don't need to see him. And um, to add more butterflies, all we need to do is just select these ones. 
by selecting the top one first and shift selecting the bottom and then we'll copy them control or command C we'll select that bottom layer so that uh, they get pasted down here below and then paste it control or command V and we can do that a few times till we have about 20 you can see the butterflies are numbered here on the right side of their name and uh, something else we can do um, let's move the Sun you can see we've got two different light layers in here um, the Sun layer we can move right to the middle of the frame so it's kind of going to be acting as our lamp post our comp is 4k now so the middle of that would be 2048 by 1080 and uh, zero on the z-axis so that is in the middle let's brighten it up I'll double click that and I can put in about 250 and this ambient light will brighten up the darker areas of those butterflies we can increase that as well let's try 200 um, I think that'll look good let's just play that back see what we got all right I think that'll work and um, let's make one more swarm like that this can be our more concentrated swarm they'll be flying closer to the lamppost let's just really quick duplicate this and this one uh, they'll be a little bit more spread out let's make them a little smaller let's try 5% scale in our wiggle 1 and wiggle 2 we'll do 3000 for all of these values and 600 for that that should be fine um, I don't think we even need to preview that we'll just close that and uh, let's start a new species let's go to the fly again we'll choose the 3d option and uh, we'll play it back all right so we're gonna do a lot of the same stuff again we'll just make that comp 4k it gives us some room all right let's play that back I think they're flying uh, too far out so in that wiggle one control uh, let's bring this down to 2000 um, since we cut that wiggle amount by more than half we should double the speed and that'll help uh, them maintain that the appearance of the same speed so uh, we have a wiggle speed of one let's just make it two this can be two let's see what that looks like that looks good I might make them a little bit smaller and uh, again let's hide our leader and let's duplicate all of our follower flies so I'll copy them select the bottom layer paste them and I'll do that several times and just for variety's sake let's duplicate that again and we'll just change some settings on here on the control layer um, let's make them go a little bit slower and maybe scale these down even more just in case they fly out of frame I'm gonna make this bigger I can delete our background layer and uh, we should do that for all those comps okay and let's go back to our lamppost comp and we can just bring in all of these all right so we'll need to scale these down and reposition them obviously uh, let's just go one at a time I'll select the this fly comp and I'll move it so that it's positioned right over our lamppost and uh, we'll need to scale it way down about 20 percent and if I zoom in uh, we probably shouldn't be able to see these flies in front of a bright light let's change the uh, blending mode to screen uh, for all of these let's do this next one too okay we've got all four of our comps uh, positioned over our lamppost their blending mode is set to screen and they're all scaled down and uh, something I forgot to do is change the lights on these uh, fly comps remember we want the Sun to be in the middle and we want it to be brighter I'll just copy those 
two light layers and I'll paste them into my other 3D fly comp. I'll delete the ones that were already there. Okay, we can close these now. Let me unhide all of these and let's just play it back and see what we got. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, one problem I have with this though, if I isolate just this lamp post, um, the quality of the picture is pretty crappy. You can see we've got banding here on this gradient and uh, it's a still image, so it, it's lacking any grain that you would normally find in, in footage. Um, but that's something we can easily add. So let's just add a new adjustment layer. I'll go to layer, new adjustment layer. We'll add a blur effect and soften this uh, banding that we've got here. I'll zoom in and I'll use my pen tool and uh, I'll just draw a quick mask. I'm going to skip over this part with the lamp post because I don't want to blur that too much. I'll hit the F key to bring up the feather property of that mask and I'll set it to something like 30. And uh, with the layer selected, I'll go to effect and blur and sharpen and let's just add a Gaussian blur. That'll work. and. Uh, Let's duplicate this adjustment layer and I'm going to delete the mask that's on there and delete the Gaussian blur effect and on this one let's add some grain. We can go to effect, noise and grain, add grain. Um, the viewing mode will set to final so we can see it all over and uh, that looks pretty heavy but I think it's good because this is a low light shot and normally you would see a lot of grain on a shot like this so I think it's fine. Okay and uh, if you wanted to you could add motion blur. Just turn on motion blur for those layers. Um, sure let's do that. And that should do it. You could always add other species if you wanted to. I think uh, variety is the key, not just in species, but in flight patterns and speed and size, and maybe just um, animate a few single bugs flying across or something. The more variety you have, I think the more realistic it'll be, but uh, this is nice. You can see how quick and easy that was. Um, be sure to watch the full demo for swarms at the link below and you can see what else is possible with this effect. And if you like that, you'll also like flocks, which allows you to add a variety of realistic birds to your shots. And again, control where and how they fly in 3D. And also the schools template, which you guessed it, allows you to create schools of fish and swimming mammals. Um, so those effects and much more, which really push the boundaries of what's possible in After Effects, can all be found at creationeffects.com. I hope you like the effect. Thanks for watching.